Hi there, Serial Trader here. Just gonna do a little follow up from this morning with weed, as it certainly uh, had a performance that was uh, expected. Uh, and I just thought I'd start off with the five minute time frame on this uh, weed chart. And I just thought it was pretty cool. So this morning, we uh, put in a slightly lower low just to take out all the stops of people that put their stop just below uh, yesterday's low. So yesterday's low was uh, 36, 33, and today hit 36, 17, ever so briefly, flushing all the stops out. And you see all the volume picked up there when that happened. And then right from there, we had a one up, two down, and look at that. So almost a near perfect 618 retracement of that initial move up in one. So that's uh, kind of idealized one, two setup, 618 is the most common. Then we had the strong third wave up, okay, in wave three. And then even on this five minute time frame, we had a nice contracting triangle A, B, C, D, E, and the A wave, which was the uh, most extreme point in price of the triangle, uh, hit around that two, three, six retracement, quite shallow, uh, which is very much indicative of a, you know, idealized fourth wave. Then you make it to the three, eight, two retracement. So that's also kind of a sign of underlying uh, upward strength and uh, from there we had a fifth wave up uh, small fifth so now we have a one two three four five and then we had just a minor pullback more minor than I expected actually and now we appear to be trending back up again possibly in a you know maybe another one two or just this is just a one tiny two and then going up in the third sometimes these uh, second wave retracements if there's just a lot of you know, sentiment in one direction are, are very minuscule compared to what they normally would be. But the point is, we now have a clear five up off the bottom, and that denotes the trend of one larger degree to be to the upside. So whether this is the initial wave up in A, and then we're gonna have a B, C, or whether this is the initial move up in one, and then we have a two, three, four, five, a stronger move up. The point is that uh, whenever we do have a more significant pullback here, that should be followed by another uh, five wave advance, whether it's a C wave or a three wave. So still more upside here in weed, uh, according to these very short term waves. And isn't interesting that, uh, you know, I can look at a weekly chart and, uh, you know, see these same patterns that you see on a five minute price chart. Just shows you the fractal nature of these patterns and, and how useful they really are. Uh, when they're clear and they're easy to identify like this, that just adds confidence to you know being right in the direction now I'll get rid of all this because we're gonna go out to the daily chart okay but I uh, just couldn't resist showing that just textbook uh, okay so we'll go to the daily and we'll go to the candlesticks so I'll leave that as it is for now but that's subject to change, like all wave counts. Uh, okay, so notable, we have a bullish engulfing candlestick. Okay, so that's always nice to see when you're looking for a major pivot. So candlestick buy signal, volume's quite healthy, uh, almost 11 million shares traded, which is more volume than yesterday's capitulative down day. So that's, that's nice to see the uh, bullish volume uh, exceed the bearish volume from yesterday. And uh, I mean, these candlestick signals, they might seem simple, but they're quite effective. So look at this at the top, we had our bearish engulfing, engulfing two prior candlesticks. And then that always implies, you know, whenever you have an engulfing pattern, the next three to five price bars will be in that direction. Well, in this case, we had one, two, three down days. So three price bars in that direction. And now we've had a reversal bullish engulfing. So now this implies the next three to five price bars will be in the other direction to the upside. And that's certainly a reasonable expectation, especially closing near the highs like this. Uh, pretty likely there's gonna be some follow through. Likely, it's always just uh, no certainties here, but in the game of uh, probabilities and anticipation, uh, this looks pretty good. So now my positions are looking a whole lot better from where they were yesterday, obviously. And actually it was a good day. Uh, nice to see this find a pivot quickly and that uh, hourly RSI uh, once it finally 
got as oversold as I've seen it for quite a while, really launched us off here. And uh, now we're above the T line on the hourly, which we stay below essentially this whole decline. So that's short term, heading higher still by the looks of it. But uh, yeah, so the daily, uh, now that we do have what looks to be a, a bottom in place, uh, what can we expect for at the minimum an upward retracement? Okay, and let's just put the, I'll go with the three most common uh, things to expect here. So the 3A true retracement, we're close to that. That would be at uh, 4096. We've already gone as high as uh, 4060. Pretty likely we'll exceed that. Now that leaves the 50 and the 618 retracement. And remember, this is if we're just working a uh, you know corrective up and then we're gonna have another down. Possible we have a, a bottom here and we head up the new highs, although the wave count isn't overly clear as to how that would work. But if it just keeps going, let it keep going trail your stop up right if it surprises you to the upside then that's great but uh i'm being more conservative and expecting a bounce and then uh embracing trend continuation should it occur so still some upside here and uh, as far as the pattern goes i'm uh, currently uh kind of thinking we have something like this in play we're gonna have an a down uh, a B up and a C down, maybe. Now, there's just no way of knowing this yet, but uh, that's kind of my current expectation. But if it changes my mind, uh, you know, no problem. From a trading perspective, though, it doesn't really matter. Candlestick buy signal, next three to five price bars, looking to be in the next direction. Coming off that hourly oversold condition. Also, finding bull market support here on RSI. So RSI, we bottomed on the daily uh, at about 44. So that range between 40 and 50. That's considered uh, support in a bull market, in a trending market to the upside. So nothing violated uh, RSI daily support there. And uh, that's good to see. And uh, hopefully tomorrow there's some more follow through. And then we're heading into a uh, abbreviated trading week next week. Uh, Canada Day uh, will be closed in Canada. And then on uh, Independence Day in the U.S., uh, U.S. markets will be closed. So typically that coincides with lighter volumes and usually less uh, volatility. But uh, remember, these are just tendencies. Um, but just a little idea of what to expect for next week. Anyway, hopefully that's a good update and hopefully uh, someone out there is able to capitalize on the uh, trade setup from uh, the video this morning and we'll see what tomorrow brings. All right, Serial Trader signing off.